Hey, Speedwing here. So we got some information from the Japanese Fire Emblem Twitter this morning about some new game mechanics and I thought they were really interesting so I thought I'd just kind of go over them and give my general thoughts about them. So we got two sort of battle styles and the first one is cooperation where you do a chain attack if an enemy that's also in the cooperation battle style is near the one attacking. We, we actually see this in action in the Lin trailer here. So this is a sort of combination of linked attacks in free houses and then dual strike from Fates and Awakening. So like if they are in range to possibly attack themselves then they'll join in. Which seems like it's great. I mean I'm I'm huge on anything any kind of incentive for you not to just have a big death ball of units moving slowly up the map, maybe your paladin in the front just having everyone die on him. So an incentive to position your units in a certain way is fantastic. I'm a big, big fan of this. And the second one we've got here is a stealth combat style. Uh, units with the stealth combat style get double bonuses from terrain. Now that sounds incredibly strong, as we've already seen a lot of the terrain bonuses are stuff like plus 30 avoid, so does that mean they now get 60 avoid? Again, it's more of an incentive to position your units in a certain way, which is great. But my first thought when I see this is, are enemies gonna have stealth combat styles? Like imagine a boss, a stealth combat style boss on a throne. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to FE6, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this gives me a lot of hope for this game's equivalent of Maddening or Lunatic or whatever, because all these different game mechanics we've gotten, these combat styles, breaking the rings that enemies are going to be able to have as well, apparently. Like, if they utilize all these correctly, these modes are going to be so much fun. As long as it's playtested, of course. We you know, we don't want to have a Lunatic Plus Awakening thing where it's not playtested, it's randomised. But if they've actually spent the time to have all of these different battle features done well in, a, in the hardest difficulty, it's going to be so much fun and I'm so hyped. I've been trying not to get too hyped, but every time I see a new mechanic or something, I just get more and more excited that the gameplay is going to be so good. I really, really, really hope it is. Anyway, I just wanted to splurge a bit about how much I think these are a great addition to the game. Well, let me know below what you think. I mean, I, I, I do think that the stealth one is going to be incredibly strong, just based on the amount of terrain in the maps that we've seen so far. Anyway, catch you later.